All right. Welcome back to the channel today. It is Funko for Us with Aiden and Dan. We are, hopefully, I get to talk a little quieter today and less because we bought some new mics to try out. So hopefully this is a little bit better. Uh, so thank you to the comment that we got about the mic situation. But uh, we've got some boxes that we wanna undo, open up, right? <laughs> and we just got back from uh, a little hunt. So let's see what we've got in these boxes. Sunny days, picking Aiden up from school. We're gonna head in to, it's called the Groovy Little Toy Store. It is at our local flea market. Uh, they have a whole bunch of just cult. Eh, I wouldn't say collectibles, but old toys and uh, little things like that. But they've got a Funko wall. So let's go see what they've got. Okay, so I've got to do a voiceover because there was actually quite a bit of people in here and the then there's videos over top playing and I didn't want to get copyright issues. So as you can see, this place is literally just packed to the wall uh, with collectibles, as you can see here. Um, right at the beginning, when you walked in, they had all of the, like, the Hot Wheels and collectible cars, um, things like that. But this is really what we came for. And there's Aiden and other people, so we're going to... Yeah, okay. But uh, the way that they display his their Funkos... Um, pretty nice but uh you know they're used um so this is some of their higher end games uh and then these are what they consider their grails of their funkos up here yeah there's you know the prices just fluctuate all over um but e we didn't pick any of these up today i i don't know his prices were seemed a little high this time I've been wanting that Jimi Hendrix for so long, but at 90 bucks, still out of my price range, really. Yeah. Marvin the Martian's pretty cool. The original one from the original Space Jam. That's the Robin there that uh, the soda is actually based off of as well. And then we're just gonna let, uh, take a look. This is all their Funkos. So talking with him, uh, he said he actually just bought out a collection from somebody in a store, um, bought out a store from somebody else. So he had a whole bunch of new ones. Um, being that this is at a flea market, they switch them out all of the time, of course. But uh, he had a pretty good selection, actually, this time, um, quite a bit. Sometimes he normally just has true, like, common commons, but there's quite a bit here today. And they rearranged them, so now all of these, the deluxe ones are together um, versus before. You know, I mean, it's a flea market, but still. Yeah, I see a few that I'm going to probably pick up today. Is there anything you would actually pick up? If so, drop a comment below if you see anything you like here. Just would like to, to read some comments. Uh, you know, try to get this going here and, uh, you know, why not? But yeah, uh, that Zombie Red Hulk is one of the ones that I'm going to be picking up, I believe. Uh, and I've got my eyes on some other ones, but still just kind of looking through. There's some pretty cool ones here today. Aiden has his eye on a few. Just pulling out the, this the original Mandalorian. Just, eh, man, price is a little high. We've got it, but still, just kind of looking.
All right, so we've been talking about what we want to do. We've got three boxes today, plus to show off the haul. So let's let's figure out what's in these boxes. We're going to switch them around a little bit, though. We've got a box from Funko uh, that we... I don't know. The hardest part about ordering from Funko is always remembering what you got. Uh, so, yeah, let's see what we've got inside this box. Okay. So let's open it up. Let's see what's inside of this Funko order. And I know we're going to have another one coming very soon, too. Oh, I get to even cut it. One of the neat things that we like to do with uh, Funko Shop is get some of the exclusives there uh, that maybe not be in stores yet. Um, so let's see. Uh, let's open it up. We've got some paper. It's very loud. Hopefully that didn't bother anybody. Uh, let's pull out the first thing. Um, okay, yeah, this one's easy. So, the Hawkeye and Ant-Man comic cover. Uh, really cool. Uh, hopefully the camera's going to pick up how small Ant-Man is. Uh, so this scene was actually made pretty famous recently, wasn't it? Why was it famous? I know it was in, they did pretty much adapt it like perfectly in Civil War, but why recently? Well, that's what I meant. Civil War. I guess that isn't recently anymore. Uh, Almost a decade now. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I was glad to see that they did the pop um, with it. Uh, this mold looks like it is pretty much the px previews hawkeye um, and it looks like they just adapted a tiny little ant-man to go on it actually really cool um so far i have not kept uh ha i have been keeping all of the covers with their box still um and the protective wrap on it because i haven't decided how i even want to to show them yet so Oh, I kind of forgot about him. I don't know why I didn't order more, but a D23 Philhar Magic uh, Mickey. Um, maybe that's why. I think I could maybe only order one. Um, a soda, so that'll be kind of fun. And then let's see what we've got pop wise. For the soda, we have a we have at least two more sodas in this video, so we'll just wait till the end of that. You can pull out your two first. Oh, I get my two first. Okay, so I love to see what comes back in stock on Funko.com. And for quite a while, I have been wanting to get Winnie and Eeyore. And so luckily, uh, they both came back into stock. I, I know there's a ton of Eeyores out there. Uh, this is the one that I like. Uh, this look that they've came out with um, from... I mean, this must just be pretty recent. Oh, I cannot see the bottom of that. 2022. Um, I really like this look that they gave him. I almost bought the flocked one a few times from uh, Hot Topic, but I just never, I don't know, it didn't feel correct. I didn't like the way it looked on him. So I'm happy to have that. And of course, who doesn't love Winnie? So. In my pop from Hunter Hunter, the Muriel, Mur I knew the name as soon as the camera came on, I messed it up. Muri, Muriwim, I'm, I'm not gonna get it. Um, Meruwim? So, I think it's it's like a Muriwim, I think. Something Mirror. like that. Um, this is the Chalice Collectibles exclusive. I saw it on Chalice a few different times, but I didn't really want to get it from Chalice. Uh, we've only ordered a Chalice exclusive once, and it was the fourth gear Luffy Boundman from One Piece, and he was like thirty dollars, including shipping and everything. And I was like, Ooh, I don't, I don't really like that. So I'm glad I waited a little bit, got him for only like fifteen on that shop. So yeah, and uh, so really good haul from the Funko shop. Um, all these were two back in stock. This was an exclusive that was available on the website. Um, yeah, that's actually really cool. I liked that on the back. It's got three others. Netero, Bisky, and Kite, uh, which I believe we already covered in one of our other videos. Maybe we didn't. We didn't. I do have those, though. 
So yeah. Oh, we talked about it because those were the Target ones I picked up. Possibly. All okay. right. Let's see. Let's open up another box. See what you've got. Okay. Oh, Mike. I don't have the knife. Okay. This is the Walgreens order. Um, I. I don't really remember what it like what's in it, but I know there's at least two things in here for me, I'm pretty sure. At least two. Yeah. Right into the top. Okay, the packaging, really not good. The there's five pops in this box. They're kind of just laid out in the box, no. Bubble wrap, no nothing. There's bubble wrap on one side. I can even see it. Yeah. On the bottom, but uh, it doesn't even cover the whole thing. Yeah. All right, well, that's not good. So go ahead and grab one of yours. Um, this, one. this is the Asriel Batman from Batman Arkham Knight. I have the regular Batman from Batman Arkham Knight, and this was on sale. And I've not beat Arkham Knight. But this is one of the few side missions that I actually like completed in the game. So, and I enjoyed it a lot. I liked his design a lot. So, uh, I thought it'd be cool if I picked this one up. Yeah, the Walgreens exclusive. So, this whole box that we've got is Walgreens exclusive. And there's actually one stickered from Fall Convention in here. And I'll just show that one off really quick. Uh, it is the Aquaman from this, the Heroes, Heroes line as well. Uh, so it actually, I mean, the numbers are in the same as that Ezreal Batman. Um, but I picked this up because I really do kind of like the comic cover, um, which I actually have the comic cover, but this one's just a hair different. So why not? We got two more. Uh, okay. The next one is Doomsday from Injustice. Um, I don't think they have like any other Injustice Pops. I think it was like one of the only ones. Um, but from what I know, this is also the only Doomsday Pop. And I kind of just wanted, my Superman's like been by himself. So I kind of just wanted uh, somebody to go with him. I didn't really like the Brainiac. Yeah. There's only like two or three Zods and I don't really like any of them. Um, and this Doomsday is kind of cool, so. So I, th I believe there is a, there's a Justice League, uh, not Justice League, Batman v Superman Doomsday, but it's right. a 10 inch, if I remember right. I think it's a six inch. Six inch, okay, yeah. yeah. But also that one's, I don't really like the, that, that design, that design for yeah. Batman v Superman. Um, it's kind of funny, we ordered this on uh, Walmart or Walgreens, and then I also bought it at the store. Um, because I had forgotten that we had just placed the order. We got home and Aiden said, uh, Dad, so I'm actually got, I've got one of these as well, um, because as the, what was the line you said to me when, when you said, instead of taking it back? I don't know. He always likes what's, this. What's one of my favorite comics of oh, all time? One of his favorite comics of all time is Death of Superman. So that's like the doomsday story. Yes. So. Yeah. I love that, uh, that whole one. Uh, okay. So let's, let's keep it going. Here is your next one. This is Magic from X-Men. Uh, this is a, another Walgreens exclusive. I believe the last one is too. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm starting to fill out my X-Men collection. This is just one that I didn't have. I really like the mold. I haven't read many stories with the character yet, but I like her design a lot, so. And one of the other reasons we actually did this is this one has been going up on PPG uh, quite a bit, and we've seen it in stores quite a bit. It's been like twenty dollars in our stores. Or twenty to twenty-four, I think, is what we just saw the other yeah. day. But actually, we got this on sale for I believe seven dollars. This was either the seven or the five. I think the Asriel might have been the five. Yeah, Asriel, I believe, was the five. You're correct. And then uh, the last one that we've got. Ah, oh, it's the wrong. It's not. It is the sticker, but there's two variations of this. Uh, I picked up the Frog Lady from The Mandalorian, um, which would be what season two, right? Yes, because that's the. It's like an episode before or after, or maybe it's even the same episode as that 
cave spider episode? Yeah, it is. It is that yeah. exact. Okay, it is that episode. Yep, it is that episode because that's where we they rescued her and took her out. Uh, I more or less got it because it was on sale, um, and I saw the PPG was going up on it, and it helped us get to the free shipping. So, am I going to pull this out of the box? Probably not. I will probably just store it for later on um, because I currently do not have the Grogu with the canister, I believe is what it's called, of her eggs. Um, if you haven't seen that episode, well, maybe we'll drop the, the number of episode of what it was. But Frog Lady, kind of neat. I mean, why not? Just something to grab. So, all right, we've got one more box, right? Yep. These are our other two sodas, so I'm going to pull up the Philhar Magic Mickey. All right, so we ordered from Boom Loot. We finally ordered from Boom Loot. Uh, we have been watching quite a bit of you, other YouTubers, uh, buy from Boom Loot and get his boxes, but we've never been able to get his mystery boxes yet. So while I was surfing, I saw these two sodas that I'm actually, well, it's really one soda, but I ordered two. Um, So I was really kind of cool, excited to see Marty McFly from Back to the Future. Uh, this is a what, 15,000 piece. Um, the chase was him in, he has his reflective cap on. The cap. Maybe the glasses too? I don't know. I think hopefully, it's just a cap. Hopefully we'll, hopefully one of these. Hopefully we'll see it. Yeah. So we paid a little bit more for these. Um, same that we actually did with, uh, Philhar Magic Mickey, um, because they're actually, well, Philhar Magic is a D23. Um, is it can list? No, it's not the can. Um, but with the Back to the Future, I have all, no, I don't have them yet. I have most of the Martys, uh, and it's top three movie of all time for me. So definitely had to get these. Uh, let's open them up. One of those that you want to get? I definitely want to open one of the Martys because I might keep one of them. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> All right, don't look right at the pog. Right. <laughs> so slap shot pops goes like this, and then he looks at it, but we're not gonna do that. I still don't wanna do that. I'd rather get the real- He gives it away too early. Yeah. I like to actually see the thing. Yeah, these feel good. Now wait until we like get them in our hands. No melters. Mine's a little now. Okay. I can't tell his head from his feet. Oh, that must be his head. The bottom of it. Like when the open Okay, I've got his feet. feet. Okay, I got mine. Ready? One, two, two three. three. Both just regular. That's okay. How cool is that? Oh, you know what? I guess it does have. He's got the hoverboard and the shoes. So I guess I didn't really pay attention that this is really Back to the Future Part 2. I was going to say something, but... It sense. makes more sense that he would have had, but... So we didn't get the chase, but that's okay. Uh, he had a few more of these in stock. I do like it anyways. I like it, yeah. Yeah. And it adds, uh, <laughs> again though, we didn't think we were gonna get into sodas. Mm -mm. Now we're getting <laughs> Here we go. Can I open up Mickey or do you want to? You open Mickey. All right. Cheers. Uh, if you've been to, well, I've actually only been to Walt Disney World. Uh, you've been there twice now. Uh, so in Walt Disney World, um, I don't know about Disneyland, uh, there is Mickey's Philhar Magic. And um, one of the other things that's really cool about um, Walt Disney World is when we took him the first time, when he was a toddler, uh, the uh, cap that Mickey's wearing was actually at Hollywood Studios. Um, they had a huge, um, really, really big at that time. Now actually, it's I actually remember the, I remember okay. the, like, the huge building. Yeah, it's no longer there, um, but I really like Mickey anyways. I'm, you know, kind of one of those people. Uh, and when I saw that this was there, again, it's a 15,000 counts. Um, is there a chase? 
Oh, I guess there's even a there chase too. Yep, yeah, looks so. like he would have. It's the same, so I'm guessing maybe metallic or something. Metallic? Yeah. It's the same pose, so. Well, it just feels regular. And that's okay. I will, I like it. Oh! I really like Mickey. I really like the like how Mickey looks in soda form. I think they really like did a good job with that. Yeah, you're right. He definitely I mean like Marty doesn't really look the best in soda form. Yeah. Um I'm a little bummed. Can I get this sticker off from the D twenty three? You should be able to, yeah. Oh <gasps> good. Right in front of the mic. Right in front of the <laughs> mic. Put that back on the cam. The way he was saying it earlier when he was explaining how we've been to Disney World, he's kind of explaining it how, like, that I've been there multiple times and he hasn't. He's been there three times. <laughs> I've been there twice. I've been there eight times. Okay. And I just, <laughs> I knew at least, he's at least been there once without me. So. Yes. Uh, yeah, I love Disney World. I've been so lucky to be able to go throughout the years. Uh we were there at the 25th anniversary, and then we were again there in 2021 for the uh, 50th anniversary. So really cool. Uh, I've got some uh, park exclusive pop that I absolutely love that I need to do a video on or a little YouTube short or something on. But wow. Okay, what do we have left? Oh, let's do our quick little haul from our uh, visit today while we were out. We're going to cut this here because we're gonna talk. I'm just gonna cut it because I don't know where I put mine. Oh, they're next to me. Okay, sorry. The times that I was at Disney World, I was there for the 50th, not the 20th. Uh, we were just there a random time for one that was the time. Yes. One of the ones that I got is the Omega Red from the X-Men line. Like I was saying earlier, I'm trying to fill out my X-Men line. Uh, this was one that I kind of wanted to get, but we never ordered from Walgreens that often. Um, and like when we did just now, he wasn't on the website anymore, so I figured I should just grab him now before he comes like a $20, $25 pop. Um, Interesting that Magic's on the back. Yeah. But I don't isn't. think... She's an exclusive too, yeah. Yeah, she's an exclusive, but he's not on the back of hers. Yeah. I think... I don't know. I don't know. Huh. Oh, this is a cool one though. This is one of Wolverine's villains. Um, what was the other Wolverine villain I want to get? I, I think I want to get a Sabretooth as well. Yeah, there might be one other Wolverine villain I want. Um, is he his, a villain or is he his brother? Ooh, Sabretooth? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but this is a cool one. Yeah. Uh, one of the ones I got today, um, I picked up Iron Man FYE from Infinity War. Um, the FYE exclusive is that he is unmasked. Um, I had actually never seen this in person. I've always liked the pop from Infinity War from the final battle. Uh, and to see then Tony uh, unmasked, I thought it was kind of cool. Um, we were able to get these for a little bit better price. PPG, especially on the two that I got, um, we got a better deal on those. So to my wife, if you're watching this, we got better deals than we paid for them. <laughs> we didn't spend that much money. <laughs> Uh, the other one that I got is the Blue Suit Batman from Batman Arkham Asylum. Uh, this is just one of the two or three that I'm missing from the line, other than the Joker Chrome versions, which I'm not going to get any of those. I don't like Chrome in general, and I yeah. think they're just boring. So. Yeah, yeah. I love Chrome on my motorcycle, but not on a pop. Uh, and then the last one that I picked up is the Zombie Red Hulk. Um, actually, I uh, just posted a video not too long ago showing off the entire zombie line that I have currently. Uh, the only real reason that I, I mean, I actually needed this one, but the real reason that I picked it up is he has on here $13.99 plus the discount that we got. Uh, but PPG on this is 39 right now. So I haven't seen it for less than about 30 any any other store that we've seen it as second hand. And I mean, this box is in mint condition, um, except for it's coming out of the box anyway. So kind of in a way, why not? Yeah. Um, so yeah, all in all, I mean, didn't you have another uh, Iron Man? I like did. I Man. did. I put it away. Okay. So he got another one, but he got this Iron Man just with his helmet on. Yeah. No, no, no. Um, let me let me get it. Hang on. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, 
Thanks, AJ. Also, now that I'm looking closer at the Batman, I feel like the Hot Topic exclusive is the detective mode one. Ooh. So I'm feeling like somebody probably put this one in the wrong box. Uh-oh. Well, we could PPG it and find out. Yeah. Okay, so the other one that I picked up is Iron Man Mark 43 um, from Age of Ultron. Um, this box is a little damaged, but actually I know that I'm going to pull this out of the box. The reason that I got this one, um, they make the 10 inch version of this and I've always loved it. The mold is really cool. I love this mold um, and I just had to have that one. I mean, and the colors on this is so sharp. Mm -hmm. like. I don't feel like any of the other Iron Mans look that color. Um, they don't really capture Iron Man as well color-wise. I don't think there's a specific one that like looks like perfect Iron Man, but color-wise, this one is pretty close. Yeah. So uh, this one, the box is, like I said, damaged, but that's okay because I already knew that it's coming out of box. I'm a hybrid collector, uh, so is Aiden. Yep. Um, so we like to keep some in box and keep some out of box. Uh, what about yours today? What's coming out of box and what's staying in box? Um, my Batman one will stay in the box because of all my other ones are staying in the box from the line. Um, the Miriam, that's probably how you say it, Miriam. Um, it's staying in the box because right now my Hunter Hunter ones, I'm keeping in box the ones that are any sort of exclusive. Um, and the rest of them are coming out of the box. So. Cool. Yeah, zombies coming out. Uh, this Iron Man will probably come out, um, same as that one already is. Uh, Frog Lady, like I said, she's probably staying in box. She might not even actually get uh, <laughs> much posting or anything with it. Um, Aquaman, uh, he was on sale, plain and simple. It helped us get to the free shipping on the Walgreens order. Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore have to come out of the box. Look how tiny they are in the box. Yeah, it'd almost be a waste of space. I'd be wasting, yeah, exactly, wasting space. And now, I'm holding Aiden. Now I feel like I've, I mean, they've got a Heffalump, a Woozle, Rue, Piglet. I don't really, I don't really remember Woozle, but I remember the other ones. Yeah, I like the Rue and Piglet, so. I don't know. Here I go again, starting up another one, another collection when I'm already out of space. But really, this is an amazing video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We really hope that you enjoy unboxing with us. Uh, drop a comment below so that we know uh, what you're kind of looking for and maybe wanting out of any of our videos. Um, maybe if you want to see Aiden more, if you want to hear him talk more. Um, but yeah, I love doing this with my son. This is one of my favorite things. It's been for years. Um, but now that we're trying to do this, we appreciate you watching with us. And uh, hope you have a great day. And God bless.